All right, my first playthrough. Um, welcome. We're going to be doing a playthrough of Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. It's the remake from Nintendo's on the Nintendo Switch. Well, let's go, boys. Civilized, what's up, brother? How are you? Ahem, today. I'm going to tell you the story of a thousand year door. An awfully long time ago, in a strange and far land, off land, a big something, it was a town where all people lived very happy lives. And it was said that there was a town was very prosperous. But one day tragedy befell this blessed place. A great cat uh, cataclysm struck the town and its people. Darkness filled the skies, and the earth roared and shook. It was as if the very world had come to a violent end. And in but a single night, the town sank to the depths of the earth. Many means rose and set. Stories of the town passed into the pages of fairy tales. And when the town site no longer held relics of its past, People gathered at the spot and built a new town. But word soon spread among the people who moved in. That an ancient city lay deep underground. And that a magnificent treasure rested there. Indeed. This is the tale of the fabled treasure of Rogueport. Yes, this is where it begins in a sea the tale of the quest for the legendary treasure. And the thousand year door starts here. Yo, oh, what up, Nether Beast? Uh, I'm doing all right. I'm in a lot of pain right now, but I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. Uh, you're playing this too? That's awesome. This is my first playthrough. I never played the uh, GameCube. Um, I actually have the GameCube version, and I believe it's still sealed. Uh, never opened it. So it's kind of cool to be able to just jump in here and try it out. Uh, I heard it's a great one to play, so it's going to be awesome. I do have my GameCube, and I'm, uh, I'll be modding that soon, so yeah, it'd be kind of cool. It's your favorite RPG. That's awesome to hear. That means it's going to be pretty good. Hold up to the spot. New town. Who dis? <laughs> what up, Smug? How you doing, brother? How are you? I have a minute without Toadworth watching over me. He's so paranoid. I come all the way here on holiday, only to be uh, stuck with Toadworth. It's so stifling. Once in a while, I'd like the chance to look around on my own and see what I want. But now that I'm doing it, all I see is that this town is a very, um, distinct flavor. Yeah. Oh, Missy Miss. Missy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Won't you buy something? I have a wide assortment of knickknacks and doodads, but this is a special favorite. Well, that's a pretty box. What's inside? Box holds a map that shows where to find treasure. Box has a magical lock on it that will only open for a pure and noble heart. As I can see, it won't as much uh, budge if one such as me touches it. Oh? If the box will open for you, Missy, then you may have whatever is inside. <laughs> Go on, hold it. I suppose I could try opening it. Taco with the raid! Let's freaking go! Taco Taco, thank you so much. What in tarnations? Welcome everybody. We are currently playing um, <laughs> Paper Mario and the Thousand Door. Yeah, our Thousand Year Door. Um, it's a remake on the Switch. It uh, came out yesterday and we're uh, going to go through it. It's my first playthrough. Never played it on the Dreamcast or Dreamcast. GameCube. I have it on the GameCube too, but uh, never played it. So here we go. 
How's the shenanigans? Shenanigans are just starting. Um, I'm in pain, but I'm going to try to push through it. Got uh, allergy shots today. Um, I had therapy today. And alcohol and pain meds aren't helping. <laughs> so I'm going to take it easy. But yeah, welcome, welcome, everybody. I appreciate you being here. Thank you, thank you. Um, if you guys don't know, uh, Taco Stamper is a great streamer. He was playing a lot of FOBAs uh, today in stream, which were great. He actually, the last one he played, um, Press X to not, to not Die or something like that. It was really good. So, yeah, give him a follow. Great dude. Um, it was fun to watch him. There it is, Press X and Not Die. That was it was really cool it was actually one of the better fovs i enjoyed watching um you guys seen me play and uh tacos also played it uh um uh i'm in love with your dead grandmother and those guys games they're they're pretty rough but they're still we played them <laughs> that's all i can say <laughs> her hoodie was kind of a nerd <laughs> what a side note i never played it on uh the dreamcast 2. <laughs> gee i wonder why mail call Oh shoot, we got Luigi? Let's go. What up, Patches? Literally just started. I haven't even been able to control any characters, so I'm not sure yet. <laughs> In a god. Welcome, welcome. Hope everybody's having an awesome Friday. Hey bro, check it out. A letter from Princess Peach arrived for you. I just read uh, it to you. Uh, how's that sound? <laughs> now let's see here. Hello there, Mario. I'm now on holiday, traveling in the Mushroom Kingdom. In my travels, I came into possession of a magical map. A treasure map, actually. It was inside a box I got from an old merchant in a town called Rogueport. But said it would be too difficult for me to try to go and find the treasure all by myself. I thought you could help me hunt for it. You will, of course, won't you? I included the map with this letter, so please bring it with you when you come. I'll meet you at Rogueport. That means you must come, Peach. There we go, driving us just for you, bro. Put some voices in there. <laughs> I had only uh, played uh, some of the game back then, but I remember loving the Luigi story added. That's pretty cool. Wish I could see more of it. Heck yeah, man. Uh, I also hope they bring out the other ones, like uh, the Mario and Luigi, Bowser Saga, stuff like that. It would be really cool. Uh, what do you know? It's true. Uh, there's a weathered old map in here with the letter. Check it out. That is a map, boys. Through the haunted forest, into the abandoned town, down the well, past the seas, into the crust of the earth, we shall find the thousand year door. It looks magnificent, though. It looks really good. The colors um, are very vibrant and not oversaturated. Uh, I'm liking the colors so far. I think it looks really good. Prologue. A rogue's welcome. Oops, got a phone call. I'm going to be lurking a bit. Sounds good, brother. I appreciate you being here. Over the river and through the woods. I'm going to enjoy the game, man. I definitely will. First playthrough. First playthrough. It's going to be It's going to be magical. Excuse me, sir. Please wake up, sir. The town you've been speaking of has come into view. Look, it's Rogueport. <laughs> my crusty eyes <laughs> you see we've arrived shortly please prepare your disembark disembark look at the waves of that that's some sick graphics right there <laughs> there's toad Must apologize, sir. Our arrival was delayed just a bit by rough weather. <laughs> Are you quite sure you want to disembark here? I tell you, you're at the source of tales of about Rogueport on your way here, did I not? What's that? I'm sorry. You say there's a princess waiting for you here. 
Is that so? Uh, of course, sir. Well, if that's what you think, then I won't stop you. But uh, be careful, sir. Don't say I didn't warn you. Oh, look at that flip. 180. He's out. <laughs> Rogue port. Ooh, look at that. Uh, uh, you want some of this? Uh, uh. <laughs> oh, welcome to Rogueport. Bit of a nasty place. But got guts coming here. You look a bit green, huh? Oh, we. Bit of advice on me. Hit that save block to save. Because the things about life is you'll never know when you're gonna kick the old bucket. What do you want, pal, huh? A princess in a pink dress? I ain't seen nothing like that. No, I'd remember a princess probably. Why do you want a chick anyways, pal? Oh, you bunny? Or is she your girlfriend? Whoa, bro. Whoa, easy on the questions, my dude. Hit the block to save the events and your experience so far. If you get a game over or you start playing again from uh, the title screen, you can continue from your last save point. Anytime you find a block like this on your adventure, be sure to hit it on the save. Let's go, let's go. I don't know. Where the best place the camera's gonna be, so let's put it over on the right side for now. Let's find out. Oh, oh, look at this guy. Hey, what do you want? Get away from me, freak. Oh, come off it. You know you're a nosy book nerd, so don't play dumb with me. I've seen you walking around town asking for information about the crystal stars. What? Now I'm gonna be at the asking. So be a good little student and tell us what you know right now. Never. I don't know anything about say creeps. Ew. I suppose it wouldn't hurt. Right if a sassy little lass like you met with the ultimate demise. <laughs> Boys, we're taking this firebrand to our fortress. As you command, Lord Crump. We're on it. No, stop right there, you weirdos. I'll scream, really. Oh, you want something? You want some? I'll hit you too. <laughs> Yikes, looks like trouble up there. Probably best not to get involved, huh? I want to meddle with other people's problems in this town, even if I had an extra life. Like me a fight, Corkin. <laughs> Nothing as fun as watching a few blokes duke it out in broad daylight, huh? <laughs> Am I right, mate? Female Goomba, right? Oh, you guys want some? Yeah, I'm Mario. Like I go anywhere with your smelling losers like you. <laughs> Not likely. Huh? What do you think you're doing, chump? You think you can screw up my plans? Uh, what? Me? <laughs> it's always something. Looks like I'm going to have to give up uh, you a little taste of the old crump bump Oh, you want some, bro? Let's go, let's go. Oh, look at that stage pop up. That's pretty cool. Can't flee this fight. Battle time, Mr. Man. Just find a way to beat the freak out of the week. <laughs> the freak of the week, okay? Don't sweat the details. Just jump on him and hit him with your hammer. All right. Uh, jump on him. Exit, uh, press A exact moment when you stomp. Oh, only got two. Sweet. You know that hurt. Wow. I gotta say, you're tougher than you look. I'll keep it. Uh, keep it up and you'll beat him in no time. Oh, bro. You flattened me, bruh. I hit you with my hammer. Uh, hold left and release it when a star lights up. Hmm. Damn. You like that? You got him on the ropes. Come on. Keep welling on him. Oh, guarded, bro. <laughs> they didn't tell me how to guard and I figured it out. What? You want some jumping power? Let's go. Oh, okay. Just one. Oh, that, enough. That was enough. You got star points. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> you did it. You did it. Yes. And you got star points. That's what these little, uh... Things are star points. 
Thanks, I got nine of them. Star points you get will show you up here. Thanks. When you get 100 points, you go up a level. Don't forget that, okay? Oh, that's how we level. That's experience. Let's go. This means we have to kill, what, 11 more? <laughs> bah, bah, bah. Okay, you got a couple decent shots in. I'll give you that. But, unfortunately for you, that means... It's time. To, it's go time. Oh, 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 oh. That's right, bro. You ain't got nothing on me. Punish him. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Damn. Quick, this way. Oh. Phew, what a bunch of bozos. <laughs> Let's just sneak out of here. What do you say? I'm gonna get me some Goomba boys. Ding, 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 ding. Uh, 24 deaths in this. <laughs> I should take that away. Uh, thank you for reminding me. <laughs> but, huh? Stop! Where'd they go, huh? You, Johnson, did you see him? Did anyone? Freaking minions. <laughs> oh, crud. It bolted. That wasn't cool of you. Wow, mister. You totally saved me, thanks. I've just got to give you a little reward. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I know you're low down there, but stop. My name's Goombella, and I'm a junior at the University of Goom. Nice to meet you. Uh, so, uh, who are you? Mario! Mario? Wait, you mean... Like the famous guy? Wow, I can't believe I met you here. Cool. Anyways, no offense. But it looks like you just rolled into town yourself, right? <laughs> oh my god, they're getting roughed up back there. That's funny. Me? I already hate it here. There are freaks and weirdos everywhere. It's nasty. I mean, I know the place is called Rogueport. So I should have expected it. But sheesh. I'd never come to a place like this if there weren't some legendary treasure here. What? You're looking for the legendary treasure too? Seriously? Whoa, 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 bucko. What do you got here? Oh my gosh. I is that a map? You have to tell me where you got that. Princess Peach. What? Great hoogly boogly. If it isn't Master Mario. <laughs> Bit of a coincidence jumping into another of the short uh, place. Hmm? Ho ho. Hey, Master Mario, what in the world brings you to this wretched little burg? Hmm? Ah, indeed. Princess Peach sent you a letter and a treasure map. And she told you she'd meet you in here in Rogueport. Intriguing. Oh, yeah. You're asking me where Princess Peach is? Hmm. I was about to ask you that. We stopped at a town to acquire a spot of fuel for our ship. Don't you know? I only took my eyes off her for a moment. But as soon as I did, she vanished. You know how headstrong she is, Mario. <sighs> I just assumed she'd be back momentarily. But at this point, I fear we must embrace the possibility that she may never return. But I'm feeling better with you here, Master Mario. Surely you'll find her. Surely. But I know my place, Master Mario. And this is not it. I leave this task to you. I believe I'll recline in the inn, right over there, and enjoy a spot of tea, perhaps. In fact, I highly recommend it, particularly if you find yourself, uh, find your HP, art points, running low. I just drop it on in. Ho oh, ho. Anyways, a little rest there will fill, uh, fill you all your HP. I must say, though, the rest of this town is a bit rough. It's rough indeed. Watch well, there be some dancing chicks in there and stuff. <laughs> oh, Princess Peach. Did he mean like Peach? The Mushroom Kingdom Princess? The princess who's always gets nabbed by Bowser's? The King Koopa? The one you rescue? 
Wait a sec. This is wild. Princess Peach sent you that treasure map? Whoa. This is really intense. Well, where uh, could she have gone? Then, do you think? Do you think maybe she got sick of waiting and went to find the treasure on her own? Oh, oh, I know, Mario. Come with me. One of my professors is here researching that treasure. We'll show him your map. If we start looking for the treasure, then maybe we'll find some clues about your princess. Great. Ah, we're all good then. Let's go, Mario. Bella has joined the party. Cool. Uh oh, uh oh. Gumbella ability. Primer. When you approach people or objects, you may see an icon X appear over Gumbella's head. If that happens, you can press X and learn more about the person or object. Uh, oh, I always mix X and Y up on Nintendo controllers. Ah. That's Gunther, the Goomba. He's always complaining about being uh, swindled or mugged. <laughs> Press X uh, to get information about nearby people, places, and objects. Press X to learn about a location. Okay. This is Rogue Pope Square. It's the center of the town and the main business district. It's a crossroad where many people meet, including more than a few shady characters. Sometimes you'll learn uh, some interesting tidbits. Uh, try using her ability whenever you can. That concludes uh, this little primer. Do you think you mastered Gumbella's abilities now? Yeah, that's good. But uh, let's go, baby. Of course, Gumbella can be quite helpful in battle too. She can jump to attack the head bonk and look up uh, enemies' HP and weaknesses with her tabble ability. Oh, she's winked at me. Wink. First off. We gotta find my professor. Thing is, since I just got to tell myself, um, I don't actually know where he lives. His name is Professor Frankly, and he looks like this. <laughs> it's like he looks like the uh, the professor from um, uh, Oh my God, Back to the Future. <laughs> oh, before I forget to mention it, from here on, if you ever feel lost or confused, just try pushing ZL. That would make you to share information. Um, any info I know which might help us uh, figure out what to do next. Study pays off. Oops. I'm looking uh, for this guy who defrauded me with his fake credit card the other day. If you find the jerk, give him a wallet for me. I don't, I don't know what he looks like. All right, we talked to him already. Sniff, sniff. You smell that? <laughs> this smells like a profitable situation. Yes, indeed. Looks like my star finally uh, started to shine. Not that it's any of your business. That guy's mausoleum. Uh, he sniffs out pro uh, propositions that might make him loot. With this dose of opportunity, he could uh, really do well in a straight business world. But I guess no one uh, in Rogueport really cut out for that suit of a tie life. <laughs> suit and tie life. That's funny. Turf war between uh, Pianta Syndicate and their Robos heating up, apparently. Let's stay indoors. Uh, that's not our strong tooth. Freeze! You too. Not another step. Don't you come this way. Some uh, complete jerk just bumped into me and made me lose a contact lens. I'm looking for it right now, so don't you dare move. Yo, Anna K, how you doing? Welcome, welcome. Happy Friday. You hear me? Whatever you do, do not move an inch. Not an inch, you hear? Uh, which? Ah, idiot. You stepped on it. My poor contact lens. I told you not to move. Don't your stupid ears work? What were you thinking? This is your fault. Now I have to buy a new contact lens. And you're going to pay for it. Compensate me, Mr. Clumsy. Nope. Fine. If that's your plan, then here's mine, you oof. I block the gate to the west until you bring me a new contact lens. Oh, come on, don't be like that. Oh, don't don't be like that. Ah, that's Zest T. A super skilled toad chef. With the right ingredients, 
She can make anything. She's just uh, like a kitchen magician. I am like a total klutz in the kitchen, so I really appreciate the chef's touch. Jerk. Yep, she is adamant. And she is pissed at me. I didn't mean to hit that button. Oh, that's kind of cool how that opened up. I guess I need to see something where I find an item, then I won't be clicking A on everything. It's like any RPG. Welcome. Yes, welcome to the Toad Bro Bazaar. Eh, what's that? What a contact lens, did you say? Hmm. Wait just a moment. That'd be funny if he smacks him. Bah! Gee, fella, I'm sorry, but we don't have any in the stock right now. Tough luck, I know. I special order one right now away for you, but you'll take a while. Check back soon, okay? Hey there, fellow. Welcome. First time at the shop, I think it is. I always like to explain our shop point system to new customers, so bear with me. Customers receive one uh, shop point for each item they purchase. Up to a max of 300 points. You with me so far? Tip them enough uh, point, shop points, and you can get a prize, including some rare items. Uh, you'll find a list of prizes posted in any shop. Be sure to check it out. Pretty simple promotion. What did you say, Bella? Need me explain again? Uh, no. Now, with what the, uh, with that said, hey there, Bella. Welcome to Toad Bazaar. What can I do for you? Oh, I can sell. I'm here to store. I'm here to withdraw. Oh, wow. It's bad about points. Oh, that's kind of cool. I don't have anything to store. Well, screw you, buddy. Five HP uh, cures poison and ailments. That's kind of cool. Attacks all enemies with fireball that do three damage and burn them. Temporary puts all enemies to sleep and mobilizing them. That's not bad. I don't know how much things cost you or how much we make, so we'll, we'll go around messing, messing around. Oh, that's kind of cool. The save is simple. Oh, I used to sail around the world in a wild manner. In young days, but I'm a reformed sailor now. I used to go around exploring all over the place without giving it much thought. Can't you take a hint, pal? Mean scram. Don't talk to me. I got ditto, so that event is completed. Oh, sweet. Congratulations. Uh, what are you doing? Sneaking up on a person when he's singing the most jolly bowl. Ah, uh, who, me? You ask about? Ah. Called Flavio, and, uh, how can I say? A traitor. The richest man in Brokeport. Ah, <laughs> uh, welcome to you and your. Have a seat. This is Podley Place, a humble little cola shop where folks mix stories and drinks. By the by, there's an inn upstairs. When you're wary, go on up and relax. So, if I talk to him again, does he do anything? No. That's an entrepreneur, Flavio. He's like super rich and he owns uh, a lot of ships. What are you doing here early to this day, though? I think he's doing okay. That guy practically lives here. He must like it, huh? He's like the ultimate regular. As far as I can tell, he's recounting the tales of every love in his life, one by one. That guy is a bomb bomb sailor. I think he comes here every time his ship uh, makes port. I don't blame him. This place has a totally cool atmosphere. I'd be a regular too. That's the innkeeper Podly. He looks distinguished, always polished with those glasses. Wouldn't mind having a cold uh, Chocola Cola sometime and listening to him talk. He opens this in a long time ago. 
and he really must know about the town's vault. All right, well, can we play darts? No. Can we jump? Welcome to the Lauren Refugee. Uh, um, in this port of filthiness, our beds will soothe their soul. Care to rest only find coons. No, no, I'm good. Come again. This woman runs in. She's sweet and helpful, unlike the road porters. If your HP and MP gets too low, come here and get them restored with a night of rest. Ugh. Where in the world could this princess have gotten to? This is quite troubling indeed. Sorry, we're closed. We'll reopen at 11 a.m. Uh, I'm gonna fall this way. Ooh, what's this? You got a star piece. A lovely star, a uh, piece of a star. Listen, this is a huge secret, but I gotta tell somebody. I'm a wanted Goomba. I was a thief in another town up until about three months ago. Yeah. A good one. But then he came down and I needed to hide out. So I came to Rogueport. Now that I told you, I'm lying low in the thieves' den. You gotta keep it a secret, okay? <laughs> I'm so sly. <laughs> That's uh, McGoomba. A Goomba, obviously. I think maybe he's on the lam for someone. Um, I mean, why else would he be chilling in this back alley? It's so nasty here. Rogue Alley, huh? Oh, McGruff. <laughs> Yesterday I blew through a hundred coins at the parlor. You believe that? Yeah, you horn dog. <laughs> oh. There's a rockin' chat. Good luck, good luck, boys, if you need that. But not next time, man. I'm coming back a winner. Oh, it's fair on me now. Corn dog. Let's get a guy for some money. Lovely piece of a star. Oh, can I crush it? I can't crush the cockroach. I wonder if there's a run button. No. But now I want to check like behind all this stuff. Cause watch there be a freaking star piece somewhere now that I haven't gone behind. Oh. Save time's not bad at all. Professor Frankly? Actually, I think a guy by that name lives over on the east side. Just go east from here. As you enter town from the harbor, just hang a right. Uh, so, uh, what about him? Did you guys steal something important from, uh, you or what? That's a lazy dagoon. He hunts shady jobs that he expects to pay well. He's never done an honest day's work in his life. What a piece of work. Oh, I can't see my HP up there. That's cool. Oh, look at that, boys. Another star piece. Ooh, I just noticed there's a big old treasure up there. What about over here? No? Okay. Uh, can we go behind the sign? Let's try one more time to go upstairs. Okay. 
Yeah, we'll have to figure out how to get up there. I wonder if it's from actually this house. No, I don't see any chimney access. Okay. I tried. Can't blame a dude for trying, right? I didn't even think I would say it, but man, it's kind of cold in here. <laughs> My room. Hey, what's your beef, pal? Oh, I'm talking to you. Got bumps at you and just runs off like that? Unbelievable. Some people are so rude. He stole my money though. I don't see him there. Let's check back down here. I'm sure this is all cleared up. Patch the bomb. He's a really salty silly type. Told it. I'm not going to read all of this. It's, it's going to take a lot of my voice away. But yeah. I'll read the main story stuff. Well, he's not out here. I wonder if I can find him. Still 50 coins. So you can't go that way. So let's check this. At least the door openings and stuff like that are pretty quick. Fancy meeting you here. Pretty dang persistent, buddy. What a pain. Fine, fine. Okay, you got me. I'll give you back your coins back. Here. That's a bandit who made this place his hideout. Seems like he totally loved this place. Who would have kill him to clean up a pab? Let me give you a news flash. Even the innocent looking people in this town are thieves. So don't come uh, grumbling to me about losing a little pocket change, okay, buddy? Yeah, let me smack you a few times. There. Made me feel better about myself. <laughs> Got my coins back, though. So let's go. Fine. We can just keep smacking people in the head. We're pros at that. Bum, bum. 
Hey, you big old rub. I ain't smart talking to people down here, you know. You never know when a guy might go wild on attack. Be careful. Live longer. Let's go Freya Goomba. He looks kind of shady, but I guess he's cool. They call him Fixer. You know, a guy who can make uh, any problem go away. Uh, to power up your partner, talk to me from the other side of the table. Power up your partner, huh? I don't need to power up my partner. I need you to give me a coin. Something. Welcome to Herman Merlin. Super magician, I foresaw your arrival. I can aid you if you wish. With three shine sprites, I can power up your partner. Of course, that means uh, I boost their attack power, but I also throw in a new move for free. So, which partner would you like me to power up? Uh, I don't have sprites, so... You'll be able to use multi-bonk to attack a foe multiple times. Uh, yeah. Huh? You don't have enough shine sprites? Be gone. Come back when you have three. Sorry, I tried. I tried to get it for free. you be like, oh, sorry. Yeah, I know. What does this guy say? Whoa, whoa, hold up now. You're an outsider. Past this point is Turfa, Ishel. Head of the Robos. It's ten coins to pass through. Try to pass it without paying, and I'm afraid I'll have to whip you a good one. I'm leaving. You're lazy. You don't pay, you don't pass. Oh, hi. There you are, Professor Frankly. Was I? Who's there? Who wants me? Yes, you. Now you, uh... Wait for it. Just a moment. Don't tell me silence. I'll get it right. Um... It's not Goombrel. Uh... Not Elizagoom. Uh, uh, ah, got it. You're Goombella, right? Aren't you? You were in my arcology class last year, am I right? Wow, yes sir, that's me. I'm Goombella, a junior at the Yugum. Goo Goombas. <laughs> of course I remember you. Not too far horn, but I'm pretty good at remembering. You though, you stick out on my mind because you were such an exceptional student. And that guy behind you is. Woo! Mario, professor. He's Mario, you know, the famous one. Oh, my apologies. I'm such a bookworm. I have no clue about what's hip right now. In any case, what sort of errand brings you to all the way to a place like this? We're hoping you tell us about this legendary treasure said to be below Rogueport. I thought that if anybody knew anything about it, you wouldn't, Professor Frankly. Of course I know about it. The reason I came here was to study the very subject. But why do you, do you tykes want to learn about the legendary treasure? You know that most uh, say it's little more than a fairy tale, don't you? Archaeologists and historians have to search for the truth in those fairy tales, though. Me? I believe legendary uh, treasure truly does exist, and I really want to find out. Good point. Well made. In that case, I'll cooperate with whoever I can. First of all, we should start by dressing just what the legendary treasure is. Some say it's an infinitely vast treasure hoard, while others say it's a magical item. Some books say it's an actual, uh, actually a monster, while still others claim it's an empty chest. So many different theories, obviously. It's impossible to divine the truth among them. But all agree at one point, to find the treasure, one must have the crystal stars. The crystal stars? Find the treasure of yore. Take the seven crystal stars to the thousand year door. That's how the old saying goes, and with a rhyme that's solid, it must be true. Therefore, if you want to find the legendary treasure, you first must collect the seven crystal stars. Oh, hey, I've researched some of the written lores behind the treasure, and it kind of matches what you're saying. Hold the magical map aloft before the entrance to the uh, thousand year door.
about that. Wife was sending me some picture. Then the stars will light the way and lead to the stones of yesterday. The stones of yesterday. Is that referring to the same crystal stars you mentioned? It must be. We're in luck. It seems a thousand year door is located somewhere beneath the very town. Yet, the critical piece of the puzzle, the magical map, is lost. If only we had the map. Uh, but we do have it, Professor. Or, well, not we exactly. Mario has the magical map. What? Hoobada, 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 hibbity, hoobada, hamala, hoofala, hoofala. Really? You, you actually have it. Can I take a quick look at it, if you don't mind? Astounding. This is it. The real thing. The one and only magical map. You, son, are my hero. You're the great, fantastic, wonderful. Even with this map, we can locate the crystal stars by holding it up to the front of the thousand-year-old door. Right on, Professor. Good golly. What are we doing just sitting here, then? Gumbella, Mario. Let's take the magical map to the thousand-year door. Off we must go. This instant, I'll lead the way to the sewers underneath the town. <laughs> well, then, boys. Gorge Pell is empty. Thanks. I bet you didn't know this rotten old thing came off, did you? <laughs> we can use this pipe to get down under the city streets. Come on, both of you, let's get moving. Alomata is in chat. It's a fish. Good luck, good luck, good luck. Oh, wait, hang on a sec. Mario, something that just occurred to me. I'm fairly certain there are quite a few hooligans below, so uh, keep your guard up. Would you uh, two like a practice of action commands before we descend? They're basic a battle after all. Of course, let's go. Good call. In that case, let's have a little practice session. Gumbella, you could be Mario's opponent. What? Me? Are you serious? Oh, gee. Uh, okay, I'll do my best, I guess. First one practice is jump action, okay? That okay with both of you? Choose the jump command and choose an enemy to attack with. And choose the command. The action command details will be shown at the bottom of the screen. The action command jump, press A, exact moment you stomp on your opponent. Give it a go. Well, well, you got a nice rating. Action command was a success. Seating on the action command will increase the damage you deal to your opponent or do other good stuff. Now it's your turn to attack a bullet. Shake a leg. Get ready, Mario. Press A just before your enemy strikes you. Okay, here I go, Mario. Perfect. Oh, well done. You pulled off a guard action command that will decrease the damage you receive from attacks. Just bashing A won't be enough. Success, uh, success requires timing. Action commands change depending on the action attack. Best to stay on your toes, eh? Anyways, next let's practice the hammer action. After you select the hammer, choose who you want to attack. Once you get close to your opponent, tilt left. Uh, when you release same time, you see the flash. Up there. How does that feel, Mario? Got a pretty good grasp on action commands? Yeah, excellent. Now for a real tree, I'll teach you a really incredible technique. This time, press B at the exact moment your enemy uh, attack lands. Gubella, try to attack Mario one more time. You got it, Professor. Oop, too soon. You failed the super guard. Try to press B with tighter timing. Attack me again. Too soon again. Yeah. Yeah, 
be? You turn your opponent's attack back at him. I mean her. That's a super guard. Do a super guard with you, but you take no damage and you damage your enemy in return. But the super guard are harder to do than a standard guard. Choose wisely between them. And that concludes action commands 101. <laughs> Sorry, Professor Huma. How'd that go over? Would you like to practice your action commands a bit more? Stop for now. I expected nothing less, Mario. You're a quick learner, and you're already a pro, I'm sure. Well, I believe we're in set for our quest. Hmm? Down below we go. Um, Hop onto the pipe and press A to enter it. <laughs> they roll up like a piece of trash. That's our, our like a, uh, what's it going to call it? Uh, paper towel. We can go that way, or we can try to go this way. Guess we will not go this well. Guess we can go up here. I don't know what it does. What what do those do? Star pieces collected. Ah, uh, welcome Mario. I am more lovely more lovely. The lovely fortune teller. Speaking with my amazing ability. Uh, that which you seek is my humble job. The light of the shining star will light that which I wish to see. So, shall I see something for you? Uh, no. For anything I want, just ask. Can I get a free reading? Let's see if you're good. Well, I guess we're not breaking that yet, boys. Onwards! Thunder. Thunder. Thundercats. Ho! Oh. Hey, hey, man. What's up? Who do you think it's cool just to waltz your way into our underground? Yeah. Typical. You surface level snobs are so stuck up. Ooh, I get to see the sun. I like the breath fresh air. Ooh. Yeah, come over here, scuffle mustache man. We're gonna teach you some proper manners. Leave him alone. You two can't. Uh, you two academics and a world famous hero wandered the sewers as part of a town in peace. If this is your usual green for visitors, then you must have to learn it uh, down here because it stinks. <laughs> Ouch! That was cold. What? You're too good for a fight. If you ain't looking for the tussle, then you stay out of the sewers. Nobody doesn't start a fight with us. Nobody lets. Uh, let's get them. Oh, you coming up to me, bro? All right, all right, let's go. Let's go. Can't flee this fight. A Goomba. A spiky Goomba and a para Goomba. Oh my, the world Goomba tree, family tree. The one and only, I should warn you about this fella in the middle, the spiky Goomba. Don't jump on him. Air blowing so your hammer won't reach, you'll have to jump on him. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Say your opponents before you choose to attack method. Be ready for those tricky action commands while attacking uh, and blocking. Now get ready. Oh, that's right. I forgot to tell you something vital. Press Y to change the order you two attack in. You can attack first if you don't feel like it, Goombella. Don't forget about that. I'll just leave it over here. Watching the two of you do your thing from a safe distance, but good luck. Why, huh? Okay, let's switch. Let's go, baby. All right, not too shabby. We got ten coins. 
10 experience points. Let's go. Ooh-wee. Yeah, give my coins. Jerk. <laughs> Later, losers. That felt awesome. Are you ready, Mario? There are plenty more ways uh, they came from, and they'll have it in for us. When they attack, try to hammer them or jump them while you can in the field. Text us saying you can perform a first strike when you enter battle. So if the enemy catches sight of you, be sure to thump him as you go into battle. Sweet. Got you, bro. See where this goes. Haha, <laughs> smacked him in the head. Pink. So it's not like Mario RPG where you keep continuous pressing A. I keep trying it and it doesn't work. So I think it's just a one and done type of thing for it. I struck first, that's right. Yeah. Hammer it up. So everybody who's played this, what do you guys think so far that you've seen? Any of this new? I mean, it looks great though. hit it went after the block which is kind of weird that's fine and let's attack you I guess I could do tactile I don't know if this game you'll have to like do that to see their HPs and everything else I uh, attack an enemy replenishing HP. Press, uh, yep, okay, start. Fire flower, attack all enemy, three damage each. I don't even know if I'm going the right way. I just, this is the way we're going. Your foe struck first, huh? Uh, they look kind of dangerous, so let's try this first. Nice. Um, let's push Y. I want to try her ability. HP attack appears in kind of cool kind of cool I kind of want to jump on it just see if it makes me fly I knew that wouldn't kill it cool cool Not bad. Uh, let's do hers. Ed Bonkum. And then this will allow me.
Yeah, it was one hit points. I'm not gonna press A. It is waste time. Oh, 49. Let's go, baby. 49ers, best number ever. You. Yeah. Let's see what she says. Just normal switch. Stomp on her, whack it. Oh, that's cool. Got a strange black key. Cool. Treasure chest. You, can you hear me? You can. You must mean you're a world legend and a hero, uh, <laughs> hero legend. One of the greatest hero legend can hear my voice. Yeah, everyone else is nothing. See, long ago, the evil uh, spirit cast a curse on me, locking me in the chest with a real drag. I've been there ever since, waiting a long, long time for a hero to come by. But yeah, anyways. Big guy. Uh, what brings a hero like you to this place? Uh, Mario? A word with you. I'm not exactly confident that we could trust this chest. I think it may be best not to mention it. There are, uh, we're looking for the crystal stars. Well, drat. I just said it out loud. What's wrong with me? <laughs> oh, yeah. Searching for the crystal stars, are you now? So you really are a hero. Well, you're definitely going to need uh, my help if you get the... Uh, those bad boys. So first, you should look for the key to this chest, and you should let me know indefinitely. Not sure this chest guy would know anything about crystal stars. What do you think we ought to do? We're gonna save him. Well, I know my vote uh, goes to you finding that key. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. This is what the key looks like. Blank, uh, by the way. Come on. Being stuck in this box is no picnic. I'm counting on you, oh great legendary hero. Whoa, what? You already found the key. Oh man, I owe you big. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> thanks, not thanks. Wee Fools. Oh boy. Did you fall for it? I burned juice. What? You think I was gonna help you? Instead, I'm gonna spread a little suffering. I'm dirt in that stupid box. Yeah, sorry. Those are breaks. I'm gonna cast an evil, terrible curse upon you. Boogly, woogly, woo! You're cursed. Hey, enjoy that curse, sucker. You got what you deserved. You want to hear all about the sweet curse I um, dropped on you? Well, listen well. From now on, if you press Y in a certain area, you'll turn into a paper airplane. Wee, tumbling yet suffering the rest of the days until a terrible curse. Wee, <laughs> oh, I can't help the cordal. You're doomed. The curse is pretty rough, I uh, guess. So I suppose I owe it to you to explain. Ready? If you stand on an airplane panel like this one, the floor will start to glow. Uh... Yeah, you're on a panel. Now try pressing Y, and then bam, you're a paper airplane. <laughs> you control your paper tiny airplane uh, itself by tilting forward and back. It's going to rise if you tilt in the direction behind you. Right, if you keep tilting it too much, it'll slow down and start to fall back to the ground. Once you uh, start to rise, uh, stop tilting. Uh, timing is key. I'm gonna try it now. Suffer. All right. Hey, when you've uh, had enough airplane shame, press B to deplane and get back to normal. All right. Dude, he cursed me, boys. Look at that. So, be honest. Do you fully understand the perilous curse has bestowed upon you? Yes, I get it. Foolish fools. 
<laughs> Bro, if you got more cool stuff like that, I'll take it. Oh, uh, wow. Just wow. What was that? That guy's beef. Let's go. That means we're going to go hibbity hop, hop, hibbity hop. We saw the airplane earlier, so we're going to go backwards. Who knew the underground rope part extended so far? This place is a total maze. You really feel the grandness of the ancient civilization when you're down here. Yeah, sure do. Oops, wrong button. That's why she keeps talking. Oh, yeah. Oh, what is this? The ancient door? Okay. Mm. Oh, Mario Gumbella, look at that. Is that the thousand year door? I can't believe it's real. The legends are all are all true. Come, let's move closer. Oh, I'm not gonna move over there. I'm gonna go search for some items. No, nothing? Okay. I guess I'm moving closer. Ta da da! What a cool scene. Professor, what's going on? It was a neat game. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Through the woods, to the town, underneath the pipe, lays a thousand year door. <laughs> Duh, go to this castle, baby castle. Looks like a little baby with rattles. <laughs> There's the first one. I guess it's telling me where the first one is. Location of the crystal star has been recorded on your magical map. Mario has learned a special move. You can now use Sweet Treat. Professor, the map. What was with all those strange lights? <laughs> this looks like information related to the location of the crystal stars. That shining light? It looked as if the mysterious power was given to Mario. Well, one way or another, we should return to my place and study the map closely. All right, here we go, here we go. Mm -hmm. Ah, I see. You understand it, Professor? Of course I do. I shall explain. The first thing to know is the map is truly astounding. Somehow this map contains radar-like functions that show uh, us the location of the crystal star. Looks like the first crystal star is to be found in a place called Petal Meadows. Petal Meadows? Yes. The area is a vast meadow that lies far to the east of Roadport. Tell you the truth, I always thought that place was a tad suspicious. The name Petal Metal did come up from time to time in my research. Okay, fine. So we'll go there. Does anybody know how to get there or what? Fairly certain that somewhere beneath the city is a pipe to Petal Meadows. If you could just find that, you'd get there instantly. Pipe travel is sufficient. Okay, so we got to go back down to the right. Uh, say, by the way, Mario, I'm curious. How'd you get that map anyways? Or Princess Peach, really? Her Highness sent this to you, Mario. Princess Peach, this would be her, wouldn't it? So it is her. Your princess came to see me the other day. She wanted to learn about the treasure. I told her about the crystal stars and the suspicious about Petal Meadows. It doesn't uh, seem like perhaps she tried to go to Petal Meadows on her own. 
No, Professor. There was another suspicious group asking about the same thing. Hmm. Can't imagine Princess Peach getting involved with them. All right, let's settle. Off to Petal Meadows, you two go. If Princess Peach has indeed went there, the first priority must be to catch up to her. Collecting the crystal stars is a means to an end, and that end is Princess Peach. Give me a give me a hammer. Aren't you coming, Professor? No. I'll stay in town and ask around about Princess Peach and that suspicious gang. Besides, I doubt the shivered old Goomba like me could handle the trail of the road. Of course, if anything happened to you, need some advice, come see me, okay? You got it, Professor. Well, Mario, we're off. Give it your best. Now then, allow me to give you both a proper farewell. Huh? Oh, Mario, there's something I forgot to mention. Firstly, about the light we saw shining on you. By my reckoning, Mario can now perform what is known as a special move. A special move? Well, it will, uh... Stuff like this is better explained in example rather than words. <laughs> you have my son so mesmerized right now, Suxor? <laughs> That's awesome. Would you like to try it out? Sure thing. Excellent. In that case... Let's give your special move a little test run. Let's take a close look at your star power gauge. You'll see that your gauge has a power dot, obviously a single unit of power. So you're sitting on a single dot of star power with me so far. When you have star power available, you can use a special move. Are using Sweet Treat now? Um, it's a special move that replenishes your MP and MP FP. Okay, okay, I like that. Sweet Treat for the win, baby. Eh. That's kind of cool. Heal everybody. <laughs> let's go, let's go. That's what's up. Since you use one uh, power dot, the star power gauge is now empty. Even if the gauge empties out, though, you can still charge it up again. That's why the audience watching your battles is so very important. If you get the audience excited, you'll build up more power star star power. Let me show you what I mean. Mario, Gobella, try to attack me, please. Oh, okay. Nice. See that? You thrilled your audience. So they filled up some of your gauge. Right, let's let's jump on you. Nice. Keep building up that star power. Also, the more exciting your battles are, the more people will come to you. Watch your fights. As you can see, that reflecting in the number of members in the audience. Limit break, right? <laughs> it's so cool. We got 15 people here now. Head bonkers. Ding, ding, ding. Still with me? The more people in your audience, the more star power you can get. You can also use the appeal command get star power. I hope you memorized all of this. Well, that's all I got. Here ends my uh, Delante lecture on special moves. Fine work, Mario. We did great, guys. Oh, Mario. It's scary out there. Take this with you. He does. I got a new weapon. You got a power smash badge. Oh, it's just a badge. Never mind. It's called a badge. And it's incredibly helpful. You see, depending on your badges you have equipped, you'll get much more powerful. What's important is knowing what the effect it, if uh, what the effects will be when you first equip a badge. 
Would you like to press equipping and removing badges? Yes, please. I'm sure I can figure it out, but it's fine. Let's start, okay. Press ZR and open the badge menu. Equipping badge requires badge points. This one needs one badge point. Okay, do equip it. Use one uh, BP and equip the badge. Press A again to remove the badge and your BP will return to normal. That's the whole explanation. Uh, wear this badge uh, to power smash. Two FPs are required to use this. Two? Oh, I see, I see, I see. That's kind of cool. By the way, you need uh, flower points to use the power smash move. In battle, you should uh, watch not only your HP, but your FP too. Do you get all that? Well, here's hoping you find a pipe to pedal meadows. Sweet. Let's go, baby. Progress. All right. Just in case, I do plan to attack this guy. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold up now if you want to pass through here. No, I'll take. I can take you. What? You gotta be kidding me. You think you're gonna fight your way through here? I'm gonna make you eat your words, tough guy. Let's get this party started. Power smash him. Oh, baby. Uh, let's tattle this guy. Pink. Oh, he has 20 HP. Ooh. That's guess. He's super annoying and tries to take all the totems for him. Back to 20. Attack is 3. Defense 0. Oh, he's pretty tough. Oh, I'm sure he's super obvious, but. That pointy spear hurts if you get stomped on. I wonder if this guy watches people pass 365 days a year. Talked about it, workaholic. Guarded, baby, guarded. Right. That's fine. We can power smash again. Go. Bingo time, what's this? Hey, bonk. Okay. Um, hammer whack you. Ooh, super guard. Let's go. Freaking go. Can I not jump on this guy then? Oh, okay. Okay. I'm sorry. Uh, tactics. Appeal. Oh, nice. That's kind of cool. Does the uppercut you? Cool. Huh? That hurt. You have no chance of beating me. Trust me. You better run. If you don't, uh, seriously, you'll be game over for you. You can choose to run from the taxi man. Sometimes it's best to run. You think I'm gonna run from you? Bruh. Let's go. Tactics, appeal again. There we go. Uppercut. <laughs> All right, can she star power? I don't even know. No, she cannot. Okay, it's fine. Sweet treat. Nice. 
Take the heal, get our flower power back. Tactics, appeal. Let's get some more. It's kind of cool. Oh, that's going to give a lot. Oh, bro. Bro, bro, bro. That's not cool, dude. You know what you need? You need to smash. do this but you were a tough opponent I give you that 22 stars that was pretty good pretty good good the dumb video game hero always pulls this stuff it's ridiculous you think violence solves anything don't you huh don't you Uh, this is the broke Horror. This is a turf of Ishnel and his crew Robos. East side of all run down. You can't tell if these buildings are vacant or not. If you're down here, darn will be red and compelling reason to be here. A trouble center is the only place in the east side that other town folks come to. If this place is open, when you're in the neighborhood, you should drop in. That's Arthur. He's always hanging around here. He looks totally suspicious, but apparently he lives uh, by some super stern moral code. Wendell, the bandit, at least I hear he's a thief. Never seen him steal. He's always whispering to Arthur about something. Come out of the office. Uh, please come again. Okay. Really? Can I jump down here? <laughs> oh, that was good. Oops. Okay, okay. Uh, who are you? Hey, the kid. You got a minute? Learn uh, what it means to fight. Like to fight with your whole heart. I can see you're uh, brimming with potential, kid. But there's a heap of stuff you don't know about this fight. Stylus moves, hitting a big. There's a whole list. Feel free to hit me up if you got some questions, friendo. Who am I? There's some who call me the battle master, and I don't stop them. But if I could, uh, with fighting, anyway. I got a great life, traveling, training, and the third thing. If you can see me around, give me a holler. Okay. Tell me the secrets of battle. What do you want to know? None, actually. Let's see what he. Let's go see what kind of practice stuff we can do with this guy. <laughs> That's funny. We're looking to train up, practice moves, practice guarding, uh, practice moves. Again. Just let you practice up. Nothing. All right, back to the tubes we go. I called it tubes. <laughs> Actually, I should probably save it. Can I break this? nothing of that so I know I need to go right only makes sense but right, what's down here I didn't mean to do that Ouch. 
Kafka. No, she's going to appeal, which is fine. So I can technically, let's do this. Dink, dink, dink. Bam. And then uh, her tactic will be to appeal. Well, the reason I did this is because I'm cheap. And uh, I don't want to pay 10 gold to go to the inn. Sweet. Then we appeal again. We get some more stars. Start getting our star power back up. Gives you about a third. Star guard, baby. What? What? You thought you were going to just get away with that? We did it, we did it. Let's go. Heck yeah. yeah. I wonder if I can... Oh, that's right. I don't think so, right? Because it only goes straight. Sadly, no. Kind of soggy. Majorly gross. Hmm. Seems almost inviting us something, but doesn't know what. <laughs> bloop, bloop. Ouch, that hurt. And big old ink. <laughs> oh, we got monsters in the crowd. That's kind of cool. The little shy guys. Bloop, bloop. You just haven't whacked someone's tootsie like that. Bloop, bloop. Someone with some serious moxie. That's who. Bloop, 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 bloop. Uh, would you look at that? It's some saucy mustache guy. Bloop, 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 bloop. He's the world of hurt. Blue, blue. Give him a taste of a whole technical trample. Hey Mario, remember what Professor Brinkley told us? You can press Y uh, to change your attack order. If your AP drops, you can press Y to put me in front. Okay. I should tattle. Nice. 12 HP? Oh, not too bad. This is a nasty slime. It's gross. We just beat someone harder. Each tentacle has 3 HP? Okay. Blue, blue, paint mustache. Bloop, 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 bloop. You think it tastes good, aren't you? Admit it. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Yeah, you want to snack on these tentacles? Uh, you're down blooping. <laughs> Let's go. Blue, ha! Oh, crap. Okay. So let's switch with you, alright? Because you want to attack, head bonk. Right tentacle. And we can I jump on you? Yeah, that one's hard to to dodge. I 
did that so I can smash this guy with this. Ooh. Okay. One day I'm going to get that. I don't know what it does, but we're going to get it. Hammer. Let's super smash you again. man down <laughs> 50 coins 20 stars oh we're still we still haven't leveled up though the bloop nice Anything on that side? Nope. It's cool. It's cool. We're going to go in. Go in our pipe. Pipe of power. Chapter one. Woo, baby. Castle and dragon. Hmm. Did it, boys. Finished the prologue. <laughs> 